chunky. <laughs> oh my God. Hi, pretty boy. out of Turkey. I'm from the US, so I've never been to Turkey. So I had to narrow down my selection and I narrowed it down to here of Istanbul. And I did a lot of research on it. I looked up YouTube videos, seen the clinic, seen the procedure, which is F-U-E for few. I looked up the procedure, exactly how it was done, how many hours, the post-op as well. And um I inquired through WhatsApp with Hib and Symbol. They immediately replied, which was absolutely a good thing for me. I didn't have to wait hours and days for a reply. They immediately replied, knowing the time difference between Turkey and back home, which is the U.S., is seven hour difference. But they instantly replied. And um, they walked me through the process. They told me about the procedure. They gave me the price. Um, I booked my flight actually the next day, sent them my flight information, they sent me an email with um, the hotel I will be staying at, which was a five-star hotel. The hotel was absolutely amazing. The pool area, everybody that worked there, housekeeping, everybody was good. And um, they set up my transportation, my driver, a translator, because I know the language barrier would have been an issue. But I had a translator. There was always someone that spoke English. So I didn't feel alone. And um, when I came, I had a um, I driver. My translator was there waiting for me. Where they said they were going to be waiting. At the time, they said they were going to be waiting. Punctuality is everything to me. It's very professional. And um, like I said, I didn't know what to expect. So um, when they picked me up, um, my transportation was amazing. Nice cars. Customized vehicle, shabby car, or a cab, and everybody was professional. Everybody had suits on. It wasn't dressed down in jeans. And um, they took me to my hotel, and I was able to rest the first day, which was really good. They showed me where the mall was, where the food was. I also got to meet other people that were having the procedure done, so I didn't feel alone because I did come to Turkey by myself. And um, when I went to the clinic, they told me everything that was going to happen step by step. They um, asked me, was I okay with this? Was I not okay with that? They always asked me my opinion, which I gave them. And then um, when I was having a procedure, which was eight hours long, like towards the end, I didn't have enough grafts, which they didn't just leave it and say, okay, we pulled out this many grafts. This is what you paid for. They didn't do that. They went and extracted more grafts to fill in the holes in the frontal part of my head, which was, I do appreciate that. And um, I was taken back, told to rest. They gave me everything to do step by step. This is, this is what you do. You take this medicine, 
everything was given to me. I was um given braids. I would order whatever food I want, anything I wanted. And um I kind of felt bound to the hotel because after the procedure, I wasn't able to really see the city. So the last day, which is today, I was able to take a whole tour, which I didn't expect. I didn't know that was going to happen, but I really do appreciate Hair Invincible and their whole food. And if you are having or are thinking about a hair transplant, I re highly recommend this place. You feel safe. I always felt safe. I never felt alone. And they even offered, because I was alone in the hotel, like if I ever felt alone, I can call them and they'll keep me comfortable. So that's pretty much it.